What is up, everybody? Welcome back to the TRCBY show. Today we have a hundred soul update. It just updated, and it is a very late or early morning Eastern Standard Time here. It's about like one thirty or so. I believe the patch finished uh, around midnight or something like that. But uh, let's take a look. So we have a new login screen, as you guys can clearly see, and let's uh, take a look and check out the new patch notes and see what is up and that is a pretty cool looking uh yeah title screen so that is a uh an update image uh it looks pretty dope so let's go ahead and uh see what this patch note has to say once it loads up and come on now here we go all right so I believe there is a new smithing or um, Bianca's shop or something like that. So yeah, so we have uh, Bianca Smithy going on over here. So let's, uh, let's just close this off real quick and let's take a look at the patch notes. So we have for this week, the event battles will be arranged for Meteora for one week. So that means you get... Her soul stones, which is helpful if you are a free-to-play player. It definitely helps you either if you already had the character, just to get the secret skill if you have not done so already. But that's pretty cool. So this whole week is dedicated to Meteora. And then we also have Essence of Creation discount, 30%, blah, blah, blah. Pandora's Workshop, creation rate has increased. Great. Yay, and the event period is Wednesday 5 to uh, 6.29, so I guess Monday for five days. So the Pandora's Workshop creation rate has increased, which is awesome. While the creation rate increase is taking place, the message hot time will be displayed over Pandora's Workshop icon. Creation rate will be increased for specific equipments, equipments with increased creation rates are legendary avid double crescent lightning shooter legendary bone crusher heavy imperial arms fury ivan double crescent lightning shooter blah, blah 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 and so forth so you guys could read that so we have a mind boost hot time as well too which is the pandora increases or i'm sorry pandora ingredient yield from using mind booster will be increased by 50 percent and that also has a period of time from Wednesday to Monday for five days. Also, while the Mind Boost Hot Time is in effect, the, me the Message Hot Time will be displayed over the Battle icon in blue. All right. So, note the Hot Time does not affect the yield rate of base mine production with or without the boost activated. Okay. Oh, quite a few things to go through here. All right, uh, when using a booster for mine with base production of 30, 30 base plus 30 booster plus 15 hot time equals 75 will be yield. I got it. Nice math. Thank you very much. And then we have a Pandora crafting achievement event as well too. For five days, players will be able to receive additional reward based on the number of items they create at Pandora's workshop. All right, so please refer to the Craft Pandora equipment in the Achievement Event menu in-game for further details. Awesome. I like this game. It's lots of free stuff. Just play the game, and they give you rewards just by playing it, and I do appreciate that. I am a free-to-play player, and I do like trying to uh, achieve all of these events during their designated time just so I can maximize and get my emeralds and whatnot. So... What else do we have? Pandora material exchange. Okay. Pandora materials will be exchangeable from one I oh, I'm sorry, from one another for a limited number of times throughout the event period. And check that out. Exchange rate of six fifty to five hundred. Not really sure what that means. And then we also have a uh, Pandora workshop. Immediate completion discount. Awesome. And that is also an event. The price of emeralds when completing a clock of creation immediately would be discounted by 75%, which is sweet because that is a long wait time, as you guys may know. And then we also have creation 
that would originally require 480 emeralds will be discounted to 120. Nice. So we have, what is this? A new semester special battle. Event battles. One week for Lady Grey, Karen, and Lalika in order. Okay. Primo Worm Avid Ranking Event will take place for two weeks. Ranking will be calculated. Yeah, yeah, yeah. And then game content. So Primo Worm Avid has been added. Title screen has changed as we noticed. And then Bianca Smithing has been added. That's what I wanted to check out as well too. So Avid and Rare Equipments can be created from the Smithy. Avid Equipment has been added to Pandora's Workshop. Yeah. The Avid Equipment and the Equipment from the Bianca Smithy has been added to the collection. Okay. Collection Missions and Effects for the Primal Worm Avid Event or Equipment has been added. Yep. New Karma equipment have been added. The Wild Dog's Black Eye Patch and the Wild Dog's Dagger. That's cool. Okay, so we have a new Companion Meteora Package. A special offer has been ordered. Pandora Super Special Support Package Sale. So if you want to drop some cash, that is going on. And let's see, the Pandora Super Special Package will be purchasable through its seal period once per account when possessing uh, possessing more than $99.99 for Pandora Workshop material additional materials will be lost example when a player receives 300 sulfur when possessing 9,800 sulfur they were maxed out 999 all right that makes sense so I guess the 999 is the cap skin for new semester has been added for saviors Lalika Karen and Lady Grey Royal T-Bone Steak has been added to the crown category for the cash shop. Heaven Salute, 83-year-old, has been added to the crown category for the cash shop. There's a lot of new things here, so that is pretty cool. And they fixed a known issue. The Realm of the Lore difficulty could be chosen to Nightmare, Inferno, and Abyss. But it's not available now. Yeah, players could not do any action in force battle by using particular language with iOS device, Chinese, Dutch, or Japanese. Okay, so that is pretty cool. Let's uh, let's close this off. Let's take a look at Bianca Smithy. Okay, hey, hey now, yeah, who's this girl? I think that's like Pandora's like a uh, granddaughter. So I went ahead and these are the two uh, recipes that they give you right off the bat. So if you clear Chimera, you'll get this recipe. If you clear and six times and so forth, you'll get more recipes and so forth. So it is all about clearing, I suppose, these uh, missions. For you to get it so these are from your force battles that you get so your badges which is the as you can see here is obtainable from force battles so I knew it was coming up for something and I think that's pretty cool but I just don't know how that looks what, what's a revival ring what's the stats on it can we take a look and see whoa now Physical attack 595. That is ridiculous. That's a shitload of life. Recovery drain boost. What is this? Holy smoke. Whoa. Not go. I don't want to go to you right now. Now I want to go back. What the heck? Alright. Let's go back to that again. Let's go back to. Uh, the recipe over here. Let's see. Okay, can we just take a look at it, please? Click on collection instead. And take a look at this. Physical attack is a thousand plus air. What? This is a new main weapon. That's dope. All right, so we have a new main weapon that I guess I could work for if I go and do some primal worm and get it. Uh, yeah, ingredients. I have not been uh, doing that so much. And you could also get this too as well. So a thorn pennant. Get a massive amount of penetration. 
<laughs> Hall attack boost is 21.8. That is a lot, actually. That's uh, and then you have a reflect as well, too. What, dude, this is going to change up a lot of ways that you could play the game. That's pretty cool. Lightning attack would be, I guess, viable because I, uh, I'm not sure if I've seen anybody really use arcane guy here or arcane yeah whatever so i i'm not sure so that would be cool just to make him more useful and then we have a holy saver what is a holy saver it's a dope looking armor that's pretty badass so it has heal and bleed 801 defense at uh, t6 crit damage boost Bleed damage decrease. Wow. That's pretty cool. So bleed resist. Divine heal. Recovery. Wow. Recovers life with each chance when attacked. That's ridiculous. That's like a, uh, a reverse vampire. In a sense. If anybody plays MMOs. You guys know what I'm talking about. That's ridiculous. I got nothing else here. And uh, yeah, those are the rare. That's all that I have. I need to get me some of that. Ooh, so we need to uh, unlock when Kane reaches level five. So how do we get that? How do we get Kane? And then what about unlock when Bianca's fear reaches uh, four? All things to uh, you know learn, I suppose. So this is all new. This is the Bianca's Smithy workshop over here. We got a new Jigglypuff and, you know, old man over there just just hammering away. So that is pretty dope. So that is the new, I guess, Bianca's Smithies. Let's take a look at uh, crafting requests. I guess this is just a new form of uh, Pandora versus all of those other things. This is what you could do. So, what is this? Not enough gift gathered. So you get stuff to give to her and him, and then you build up your level. And how do you get these things? Uh, I believe this was from the shop, right? From the PVP shop. I'm not sure where those books are. I guess that's new. We'll figure that out as we play the game and let's go to the shop general shop mm -hmm. let's purchase this since we're here you always want to purchase these these are really good for gold 10,000 that's like nothing so spend gold nice and easy no big deal and 35 I'm not sure if I really want to invest in it so I'm thinking that that kind of looks like the fighter liquor from the way it looks so I'm thinking that's what it is and I think you're limited to only one maybe per day so if you get one per day it's like once a week essentially you could go back to uh, Bianca's gifting but I'm not sure what that is it looks like it it could be wrong I can't really tell because when you click on it it doesn't really tell you what it is be nice let's see uh, no, it says it right there. Heaven salute 83-year-old. So it's whiskey, I guess. So, yeah, right there. <laughs> uh, limited edition premium whiskey from Pantera Renowned Brewing Company. All right. Yeah. Okay. And you obtain it from the Gill Shop or the Valor Shop. So the Valor Shop, it would be up here. So I need to uh, rank up to Bronze A in Team Battle for it to be uh, accessible. Okay, gotcha. I just didn't scroll down or I didn't read it. So that's where it is. And that is pretty cool. So you can get it at the guild shop. If you have a large enough guild, it should be up there right here. And that's a level 15 guild. So I am like a solo guild. So feel free to join the TRC by guild if you like. It's open. There's like one other person in there. Don't really talk to them. I don't know how to use any chat or message boards but uh yeah feel free to join and help out and uh build the guild if you like 
but that is what it is so that's uh that's pretty neat okay so now we kind of know where that's from and also if you click on the little here the magnifying glass not attainable anywhere just yet okay what about the books okay occasionally sold from the general store so i guess it's uh once in the blue or once in a while and adamus notebook is also uh right there it's not obtainable anywhere just yet okay so we got kane in the background and bianca in the foreground right here so that is pretty cool all right so that is new and i believe there is also that new primal worm what we still we just got into the karma realm of lore now they're just adding another area as well too that's pretty uh it's pretty dope let's see what the battle power is for us to start it doesn't even give you why not it just goes right to starting the battle no preparing what does this look like i'm curious let's find out what is the first stage of this worm level i didn't even get a chance to uh prepare myself or uh, select my guys. Is this a solo? That's pretty interesting. Let's go through the story. Okay. There she is. My first uh, companion or champion or whatever I call him. Oh, look at that. That's so nice. All the characters that I uh, don't have. Maybe uh, just two out of those sets here. Now that doesn't look like my dude. Okay. Toledo. Ha! The weather's really nasty, he says. Alright. Okay. Alright. Yeah, 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 yeah. Nazrel. I always forget her name. That's not really nice. Why? What if blah 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 blah? Okay, all right, all right. Let's let's see. We'll read that later on. But that's pretty interesting. Campfire, great idea. Let's do it. Let's get the campfire going. And that is, I guess, the new weapon. So those would be the new air weapon that you could craft. What is this? Easy play. You lead on. Let's go. You show me where you're doing. Whoa. What? This is like an intro to uh, new weapons. New grab mechanics. What? Gonna have to change up my macros and everything like that. That's nice. I like how they're uh, giving a tutorial with a story and a new weapon. This is like a God of War weapon here. Swinging and everything. This is like... What? This is like... What's the word I'm trying to look for? Like a... Slam on keyboard, essentially. So there's no way you'll be able to uh, hit that up in time. So like trigger it. I went too fast. It's like, uh, what do I do? Just, just slam it on the keyboard. Just pull and slam and pull and hit and grab, hit and grab. Wow, this is like a, a new level of grab. You could like aerial grab them. That's pretty sick. And grab them some more and slam them down. Whoa. But that goes really fast. So you have a very small window to do that. If you guys notice the, uh, the quickness of that. So that is a nice little introduction to the new weapon so the weapon seems like a slam on keyboard essentially so that's what you're gonna have to do or uh mash the buttons depending on what you're doing just to trigger that because not like from what i noticed like um the other skills there's slightly more time for you to actually react to see it and press the button with this it comes up and goes away fairly quickly so you're going to have to i guess learn how to play it learn how to 
trigger it and when to utilize your skills immediately next so it seems like it's a very fast paced weapon to get used to so i'm going to end it right there for you guys that's a uh the new patch update with a new introduction to the weapon and yeah get out there and play and check it out and uh again this is 100 soul so uh yeah it is uh available now for free just uh play and have fun and that is it for this video and peace